Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're taking a look at how I grade Zilla 2 from my Zika Me 2C in DaVinci Resolve. And for the impression ones, I just used the Zilla plugin as a color space transform. So I go from Zilla to Arbilog C, then I do or try to do all the color corrections and color grading. And in the very end of the grade, I have a node that which is a color space transform from Arbilog C into Rec 709. And that's how I do it. And before getting into more details, maybe a disclaimer, I'm not a cinematographer, I'm not a videographer, I don't think I'm even a YouTuber, so I just have fun with cameras. I do have a master's in engineering and I did my master's thesis in image processing, but that's such a long time ago that I don't think that applies here. So take everything I explain here with a pinch of salt. One thing of course is that Zcam is offering with these prices cameras that now normal people, meaning not cinematographers, can afford and have fun to do. So there's plenty of non-professionals that might take some benefit out of watching this video. So let's go into Resolve and let's check some more details. So now we're in DaVinci Resolve 17, just released or just out of beta. And I'm going to go explain in a bit more detail how do I go about engraving Zilog 2. Don't put so much attention on the, like the creative aspect of it, but more on the method and how I do it, because it might be a tool that you might want to use. So. Here we are, that's the clip, very exciting, a very exciting looking from my site as well. But what I'm going to do is create a couple of more nodes and I'll tell you why in a moment. But these are going to be the nodes that are going to help me and I'm going to get this one there. Basically the main idea is that what I do in the very first node is use the Zlock plugin. But I do not like using this at all. I don't like the sliders. I prefer much more to use all the controls and all the curves that DaVinci Resolve offers, but I don't like using those with Zilog 2 itself. So what I do is I use this Zilog plugin as a color space transform going from Zilog 2 into, here it's called Alexa WGRGB Loxy, but effectively it's Ari Loxy. If you have seen some of my S-Log or HLG videos on Ari Loxy, I find Arilogsy the one that I feel most comfortable with or that I want that I can actually get results. I'm not going to say it's the one that I know how to create because that would imply that I actually know what I'm doing and that's very questionable, but I like to work in Arilogsy for my purposes. The very last note then, that is a color space transform that goes from Ari Alexa and Arilogsy and goes out to Rec 709 and Rec 709. And then here's where I'm going to do my grade. One question could be, uh, why don't you put then this outputting already to Rec 709? Well, the thing is, I don't want to manipulate Zilog 2 and I don't want to manipulate Rec 709 either. But I'm okay at manipulating and I'm okay, I don't mean I know how to, but it feels okay to me to manipulate Arbiloxy, and that's what I'll do. So now we have first transform and the last one, those are ready. And what I use these three nodes and let me label them so it's clear. So I use the first one for exposure. I use the second one for color correction. And the third one, if I want to do some really, really minor grid. This is super simple and simplistic. I use this when I make these talking head YouTube videos. It seems like an overkill maybe, but I really like to do it. It's fun and this is to me an easy way. How I go about usually to then, how I usually go about to uh, adjust the exposure. So tend to get the saturation down to just work with exposure itself. And now it's when playing with these control wheels in Resolve, it's very nice and easy if you're working in a Reloxy. So just changing the offset, the offset so that my face is around there exposure wise, which is how I like it personally. And then we got a little bit some crushed blacks in there so we can pull them up a bit because they like to hide the information and get them somewhere there. I'm happy with the contrast. I'm happy with the exposure level. I'm happy how the waveform looks like. So let's get the saturation back to 50 and I'm ready with that. Next thing I do is I do the color correction and again, Instead of playing with the sliders in the Zilog plugin, which again, is a matter of preference, I use this dropper. 
and the white balance could be better but now it's fixed and that's about it then this looks fairly all right already as it is i'm happy as i said with the exposure level i'm happy with the tones but if we want to be a bit more creative maybe add a little bit of blue in the shadows for instance here with here without here with again and maybe a little bit more orange it's, this is not really still an orange but anyway with without with and without maybe actually i like it more without but that's it and that's how i create zillog 2. once again using the first note as a color space transform but because zillog 2 is not part of resolve color management i use the zillog plugin to go from zillog 2 to arilog c then i do my exposure my corrections and then finally the color space transform from arilog c into rec 709 and if I disable them all, and you want to see them all going one by one, so this is Zillog 2. There we go. This is the transformation to Arvilloxy. Here is the difference you can see. So it's a different interpretation of what the gamma curve is, and probably also how the color mapping is being done. Then here's how I adjust the exposure. And by the way, I when I do it, have the last note on because then I can adjust it based on the final result and I'm just showing how it looks so this is R -Reloxy, and this R -Reloxy with the adjustments with the color corrections with a little bit of the crate and finally with this and then even if let me maybe disable this crate I'm gonna save this as a steel in here and let me show you just quickly applying this to a, a very different clip well, this is not very different this is just the previous one zoomed in and let's take a look at the vector scope if i apply this great you can see that the colors are fairly accurate as they are with just that white balance the skin tones maybe could be towards a little bit the red instead of the yellow but they still look pretty good to me the rest of the colors are fine so we could of course adjust that a bit more precisely but then in even like very very different type of clips like this one and this is zillog 2 let's apply this crate and i'm very happy how it looks the footage is shaky because i wasn't held in the a2c and well i'm just not good at it but there we go and maybe let's apply it to this last one also of course we could adjust this a lot more for each particular clip but the basics is that color space transform your crate color space transform and this method allows me to work on the crate just on re loxy but that's it and as i said i'm totally okay if you don't like the actual crate or how the look is you would like it to be more contrasty more dramatic less contrasty like whatever it is so the emphasis of the video is in a method that allows you to create zillog 2 but just not using the plugin and not using the zillog 2 as curves but instead working on the r -Reloxy. and of course um, the zillog plugin allows you to transform zillog 2 into other color spaces so if you have another favorite one to work with then you can use that one and then convert from that one to whatever you want to output in the very last of the grade but now let's go back to my other talking head all right i hope you liked the video if you did please like and subscribe and we're gonna see you soon for some more content